Well, good evening and welcome to Olympic Park here in Melbourne, where the weather conditions have been cold and wet all day. Certainly not the sort of conditions that these travelling Fijians will appreciate a tiny bit. It's a funny sort of a game we've got on our hands here tonight in the World Cup. World Cup hopes of Australia still alive, of course, as long as they win tonight. But in the same breath, they've got to hope that Fiji on Sunday will go to New Zealand and get a result over there. So it's a strange sort of setup that we have. Nevertheless, let's look very strongly at what Australia have achieved recently. Three wins on the trot under Les Scheinflug since he took over from Rudy Guttendorf with a new, young, bright, vibrant side. One of the youngest that the Socceroos have ever fielded. Let's go down on the pitch now and have a look at the lineup that Les Scheinflug will send out against Fiji this evening. With a winning run of three World Cup ties behind them, this is a very young and confident team. Coach Les Scheinflug would have stood by the team who won 4-1 against Fiji and Suva last month. But when goalkeeper Alan Marr broke his cheekbone in Marconi's losing cup semi-final against the Brisbane Lions, one change had to be made. So Martin Crook comes in from West Adelaide for his third senior international appearance. All the rest played in the away game with Fiji. So we have a back line which features Davidson and Blair from top of the table South Melbourne and Marconi's Henderson along with Niven from Brisbane Lions. In midfield it's Skipper Barnes of Sydney City, Byrne of Marconi and Catholis from Sydney Olympic. Up front we have Sean of Marconi, Mitchell from Adelaide City and Cole of Heidelberg who should feel right at home here on his club pitch. Fiji make one significant change in their lineup, the rough, tough centre-back in Nosi, the number 17 from the Nadi club in Fiji, dished out a lot of heavy punishment over in Suva. Now coach Wally Hughes, once the national coach of New Zealand, has switched to Nosi to the front line in the hope that he'll unsettle the Socceroos defenders. He has Ratu as his partner in attack, with four in midfield. Meli, Sami, Manan, the captain, and Williams. The back four are Choi, Johnny, Morel, and Watkin. Aquila is the goalkeeper. And these friendly footballers from Fiji get a good welcome here from a very damp and uh, chilly crowd in Olympic Park here in Melbourne. So, referee Nob Nom from Thailand gets us away. The yellow and uh, the gold and green of Australia and the white shirts and black shorts of Fiji and Henderson hits that one very long that was cut out then by Johnny here's Byrne trying to get something going for the Socceroos and Nevin looking down the line for Sean the ball back in to Byrne and a good call of the far side from Davidson but he didn't get the ball that was Ratu ball out Melly was the man who got the final touch and the number eight that was Barnes and coming in here is Mitchell good cover job then by the number two Johnny and here's Murray Barnes ball turned back Niven hitting it first time far post this Cole Gary Cole applauding the accuracy of that superb ball then from Niven and I really feel that uh, Gary Cole ought to have been closer on target there. Nobody picked him up. Looks a free header that, and he's way wide. This ground a uh, little bit uh, soggy from a lot of rain we've had here in Melbourne the last couple of days. That's Pathalus. Good run in there by Cole, and he didn't quite make it. So Melly hitting that one long. Henderson going back in no see on his tail but Henderson knocking that in to burn now Davidson way wide on the far side is Peter Catholic he's got all the room in the world to operate now little short ball there for Mitchell Mitchell again stabbed across to Barnes is Davidson That was Inosi back in defence then, forgetting in fact what his role is supposed to be. This is a difficulty that Wally Hughes experiences uh, as coach of the Fiji side, that they 
They have lots of skills, but they have uh, they're a wee bit short on discipline. There's an OC, got a good pass then from Davidson. Manan. Some of the players, particularly the Fiji players, will find this pitch difficult to play on. Wasn't helped when they played a rugby international here last night. Foul then by the big number five, Stan Morell. And a free kick to the Socceroos. Number three is Niven. Cole waiting to come in from the far post. Goalkeeper's ball, in fact, that should have been. Johnny played it, didn't need to. It's Ratu. This little man, Sammy, very experienced player. Melly, the number eight. Gentle job by Blair. The Socceroos uh, totally pulverized the Fijians in the first 20, 20 to 30 minutes in the game in Suva. And this is Catholic leading them through here now. Finally, a tackle put in there. That's Nibbit. Line ball that uh, Mitchell got hold of for Sean. Little ball in and nicked out nicely by Stan Morell. But Niven is there again for the Socceroos. Socceroos tending to run with the ball rather more than they need to. Fijians at the moment are giving them space in which to work and I think they'd be better, better advised to make the ball do the work for them. Wall just skidding all over the place. Niven lost that one. His Barnes as Sean cuts away beautifully goalkeeper came stopped gone back he was trying to set that up for Mitchell was Sean that goalkeeper Aquila shouting at his defenders he had very very little cover then see the goalkeeper has come now he's gone back Sean tries the little flick off there in the direction of Mitchell and only a corner do the Socceroos win Here's the corner. A lot of curl on that as Cole got up. And that was uh, Stevie Blair winning a corner. Far side. So here's the corner again. It's Mitchell got up. Sammy away. Back to Henderson. Feeding it forward to Cathala's good control. Nice stuff. Blair. Looking for Davidson's overlapping run and struck it just a wee bit too firmly. Two South Melbourne players, of course. Uh, teammates, colleagues. They're pretty useful. That's Sinosi. Well, that was Barnes getting one in the back as he went up in the air. So a free kick to the Socceroos. Fiji leave just one man forward. That's Ratu. But the rest of them are all back behind the ball now. And uh, Inosi comes forward as well. This ball will go to Barnes. Then Niven. That was a sloppy uh, ball in. Burn though. Davidson. Melly was there. Touched back from uh, Sean to Barnes. Good running by Catholis. Well, that's, uh, that was unlucky on Peter Catholis. Burn up well, his Cole. Catholis. Touch then for Barnes. Davidson way forward taking on Watkin he's away from Watkin across across the goal and Mitchell makes it one nothing Socceroos in front and David Mitchell has scored his first international senior international goal 
and Davidson's getting the congratulations because this was the run that produced it. He leaves the fullback, Watkin for dead, gets into the box, and the scoring chance is laid on a plate then to Mitchell. And in she goes. So 28 minutes gone, and it's one nothing to the Socceroos. Well, maybe that goal will relax the green and gold Socceroo players. That's Cole with the throw to Mitchell. Cole there. Looking to knock it in. Oh, he's widened the angle now. Sean, that was an intelligent back header. He wasn't to know that there was nobody behind him to, uh, to make good, better use of it. It's ball down to Ratu. Here's Catholis. And again, Davidson in the clear, breaking right. He stops. A little touch on. Well, I thought somebody had to be offside there. Yes, indeed, the, the flag had gone up. There's the Nikon from Mitchell, and Cole was, as you can see, a mile offside. So there's some consolation for missing the target. In fact, it's Mitchell trying to get there. That drops down to Catholis, and again, immediately he looks for Davidson. Davidson against Williams, gets himself a corner out of it. So Byrne again with the corner. And that's number four. Oh, off the line beautifully. That was Blair's shot. The ball's loose. The ball's in the net. Gary Cole has scored. It's 2 nothing. Well, Gary Cole has got there. He really is in form. Picking up the crumbs. A hat-trick last weekend. There was the header from uh, Blair. Knocked off the line by the number three, Watkin. There was an almighty scramble now. Goalkeepers got it, lost it. They don't get the ball clear. And there is a shooting chance for you. And Cole's got it. That's Henderson forward for Davidson, who doesn't need to do any defending on that park, side of the park at all. Peter Catholis. Davidson going on a little run of his own. That's a goalkeeper's ball now. And Davidson really getting through a tremendous amount of running. Johnny is in trouble. And the ball passed back to Mitchell, who was in an offside position. And he has scored and made it 3-0. Well, that's a remarkable goal. By Mitchell, 43 minutes gone. So, David Mitchell scores his second goal of the game. But I think we'd like to see that one very closely, because... Here, the ball is passed back. Now, in the old days, you couldn't be offside if the ball was played by a defender, but indeed, he was in an offside position. Frankly, I thought he was offside. But the Thailand referee says, no, we'll have that. It's 3-0 Australia. Cole knocks that down for Sean. And Sean's still in there. Got a half a boot of that as Byrne nicks it back to uh, Blair. And again, he's asking an awful lot of his South Melbourne colleague, Davidson, who did well to get there. Throw in. Which Murray Barnes will go across to take. So we're coming down to uh, half time. Throw to Catholis. Gets to the line, looking for the cross, goes... Oh! oh Peter Catholis. He intended that shot to be on target. That wasn't a cross ball. It was far too strong to hope for anybody to get a boot to it. That's Niven. Melly. Now Sami. Ratu. Ball on for Inosi. A tidy up job by Blair. This ball for Barnes. 
shot. Barnes. This is Cole. Ball on. Right, still there for Mitchell. Mitchell losing his legs then to the number five, Morrell. The free kick's taken. Burn. Trying to work a one-two with Cole, and it didn't work. Well, uh, the half-time whistle does indeed sound. There was nothing added on for stoppages in that first half. So there's the half-time scoreline. Something for these Australian soccer fans in the stand below us to really get excited about and wonder whether indeed they're going to have more to cheer in the second half. So referee Nob Nob gets us going in the second half. No substitutions made by Wally Hughes in his uh, Fiji side. So he's asking them now to see if they can come back from 3-0 down in the same way as they did against Indonesia. They were 3-0 down in that game and came back for 3-3. Yes, we have a substitute on for Fiji. There he is. That's Salim. Number 10. Salim is on. And we're just checking around to see who has been taken off. This is Meli. On for Ratu. This ball back for Sami. Big number 17 has been drawn back oh and that was uh, Williams that very nearly got in and uh, Martin Crook is having a fair word to say at his defense and Henderson's joining in as well they were all over the place then big one going in Henderson got up That's Mitchell for Burn. Breaking on the far side is Niven. Ball in and across, knocked out by Inosi. Inosi, who's been brought back to centre half now, and it's the number five, Stan Morell, who has been taken off. As Cathalas puts that one across to Barnes. On the far side is Sean taking on Melly. Gave the ball away rather badly to Sammy. This ball for Manan. Well won back by oh, well won back by Barnes, who gets a very solid shoulder charge when the ball had gone. So free kick. As Burn knocks that through, and an offside flag catches both Mitchell and uh, well, he was the furthest forward. Niven was coming in behind him. Goes Manan. And then it gets a throw in. Does Manan? Off Henderson. Manan rather giving the ball away casually there. Sean with Choi right at his back and getting fouled from behind by the tiny little Fijian uh, right back little Sami Mitchell fighting it out against Choi so the throw in for Barnes picks up Mitchell looking here for Sean Oh, uh, how did he miss that one? This was brilliantly done here by Mitchell. He really knocked this one back to uh, Peter Sean, who really ought to have tucked this one in for number four. There was the chance, way wide of the target. Blair fought for that well. Mitchell. Well fed again. Here's Sean. Chance number two. No, that was Johnny's boot. And then Choi bangs it to safety. So 
Buckaroos need to uh, get to grips with this game again. They're making the chances for themselves. It seems to be a, a habit that the Socceroos got into in recent times. They're not a good side when they're well in front. They tend to uh, lose their concentration a bit, take things easy. It's the time when you've got to work harder, put the devil into it, and punish people. That was Melly hitting that one long for Manan. Manan beats Davidson. Stroking that pass to Ratu. Fine bit of work there by Miller. Cole hitting that one long and Mitchell's offside. Mitchell about uh, two strides offside. So the number two, Johnny with the free kick. Blair, the head out. It's Davidson. That's too long. Johnny pokes that forward. It's a poor ball, though. Burn looking for Catholos. He can go again, then, for Niven. Niven with the opportunity to break and drop it across here in the direction of Mitchell. Got up well. Barnes stopped then by the number 11, Williams. And this is Salim, the substitute. This is Williams. Oh, well taken by Catholos. Mitchell nutmegging uh, Watkin. It's a little dangerous the way uh, Watkin knocked that back. Mana for Sami. Salim for Mana. Oh, good ball. Here's Sami. With Henderson at his back. Turn back then for Williams. In for Watkin. Oh, way too ambitious by uh, Mr. Abraham Watkin. Fiji, the first time they've been in a World Cup competition. I suppose they can be, feel reasonably satisfied of the results that they've had. They've got a naught naught against uh, Indonesia, a 2 1 against Taiwan, and then a naught naught in Taiwan, and a 3 3 against Indonesia in Jakarta. So that's not bad. That's not bad going. That's Mitchell across, though. So. It's a poor ball. It'll come to Davidson. He's going to hit one. Oh. And Aquila was there and there was nobody then following up to look for the knockdown from the goalkeeper. Otherwise that could have been number four. Oh, bad ball out. Cole. In for Mitchell. And little Choi did just enough. A touch of strength through Choi there. Again, battling out. <laughs> Murray by ball knocked down to Davidson. Mitchell touch off a good one too to Cathalis. On for Mitchell again. Cole's breaking clear. There it is. Gary Cole second. It's 4 nothing, Socceroos. And that's the lead they had in Suva. Good, intelligent bit of football. The Thales here. The ball on.
belong to Mitchell. He just has a look over his shoulder, sees where Gary Cole is. And Gary Cole, oh, he did that beautifully. So Gary Cole, the Heidelberg striker, he got three goals in the PSL against West Adelaide on Sunday. And he's on for another hat trick here tonight if, uh, if he can find another shot on the target. Scheinfluck there. That's the man furthest from us of the three. With uh, Tony Boscovich, they had a little word about the situation. And Les Scheinfluck takes another puff on his cigarette and says, Yes, we're doing all right now. So Fiji's right up against it now. And there's Mitchell. Inosi goes flying in. Inosi, who started the game as a striker, basically a central defender, of course. And now Inosi on the ground. He's now got up. He seems to be all right. He's limping a little bit. The big number 17. Look at the size of those boots. That is a very big fella. Once again, the Socceroos are busy, busy, busy. It's Sean. He gets a corner out of it. And meanwhile, Murray Barnes has gone down. Charlie Yurisic is out there immediately without waiting for the referee to call him over. And Murray Barnes got a kick a little earlier. And I didn't see him get a second one then, as Sean was going forward. I think probably it was just he turned badly, and his studs got caught. But he's all right. He's okay. He limps back into action as Byrne takes this corner. Goalkeeper off. Well, there was nobody on the far post. Goalkeeper was in real trouble. So Sean with the corner. Mitchell up when the goalkeeper flaps at it, flaps at it with both hands. Got it clear to Davidson only. Henderson ready to pressure in again. They've got to watch offside here. But the Fijians have come way out of their box. Well, Melly completed the clearance. And there's Murray By. Chasing away down again is Barnes checks he's favoring that leg still a little it's given in to Mitchell ball off to Catholis that was well read by Johnny Barnes winning that ball firmly Mitchell a little Choi who is playing a sterling part in this Fijian defense I would say he's the pick of their defenders at the moment his shirt now hanging out of his uh, out of his pants, almost as though he's not wearing any pants at all. There's Troy with the throw. Now Henderson. Mitchell. Caught in possession by Johnny. Well taken by Kahalas. Davidson going past him. Dummy run. And Cole is in for his hat trick. And Cole has missed it. Now Gary Cole got himself two goals against uh, Fiji in the game over in Suva. He's got two already tonight. He was on for a hat trick there. But way wide of the target. Davidson forward. Sammy down. Davidson. Oh, nice chip for Cathalas. It's getting a bit cluttered in front of him. The ball off to Cole. Mitchell Cole. There's his hat trick. 5 nothing. 
Gary Cole's got himself a hat trick. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Gary Cole's got four hat tricks in uh, PSL football, but I do believe that's his first one in international football. A senior international, anyway. And that was all work for him by the superb running and play of Cotola. So one two there with Mitchell and Cole. And Bing, that goalkeeper's got no chance. So five nothing. Eighteen minutes of the second half gone. And uh, you wouldn't think that Les Scheinflug was a happy man, would you? But that look on his face, his side is five nothing up. It could be five nothing down. But the terrifying thing about this is that uh, Australian soccer fans are looking at uh, Fiji at this moment and saying, is there any possible way they can beat New Zealand? Well, that was a shot from Manan, which brought a little excitement to the Part of Martin Crook, the Australian goalkeeper. And the Sufferers are off and running again. The Sean. Cole. Didn't get there. And he fouled, uh, fouled the number 11. Johnny Williams. Some of the fans now calling what a load of rubbish, which is a bit unfair on these uh, friendly footballers from Fiji, particularly when uh, every Australian soccer fan would dearly love to see them go to Auckland on Sunday and beat New Zealand and keep Australia alive in this World Cup competition. But here they are, five nothing down, and I really can't see that uh, New Zealand will be in any trouble against them. There goes Mitchell. He's on his way for a hat-trick. But unselfishly, he gives a goal here to Sean. No, he doesn't. He's got to turn away from it. As Murray Barnes losing again to the little man, Choi. Davidson. Cole. Oh! Good gracious me. Aquila. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, that was nearly number four for Gary Cole. Let us see the nervousness of this goalkeeper, Aquela. He's got it. He's lost it. It's through the legs. Ping! And a brilliant save eventually. Oh, didn't he make that difficult? That was Salim's free kick. Here's Henderson. Henderson still going, looking for a return pass from Cole, didn't get it. Byrne knocks it away in the direction of, of uh, Niven. And now it's Niven breaking, looking for Cole. And Cole is going to score again. Gary Cole. It's 6-0. Fine run here that uh, Niven did down this left wing. That ball to, from Henderson. Sets the fullback in the clear. That was a beautifully flighted ball in. Gary Cole, well, he could hardly miss that, could he? Left footer. So, 6 nothing. As we go back into action again. So, Fiji and a... a Total disarray now. This got to be one of the the great victories of all time for the Socceroo players. And they're still going. And Davidson could get there. Now Aquila got there first. All this time, Fiji are waiting to bring on yet another substitute, Naidu. There he is, Naidu. He's a striking forward. And Fiji could do with somebody like that at the moment. Oh, that was too clever by half by Catholic. 
Williams. Dallas again, this is Davidson. It's ball to Cole, Mitchell. The goalkeeper's come, it's, if he loses it, he's in trouble. Cole trying for the far post. And Aquila's in there again. Well, Aquila at the moment is the guy with the Teflon fingers. Nothing is sticking at all. See the troubles and problems that this poor goalkeeper Aquila gets himself into. Gary Cole takes it away from him there. Aquila now back pedals to get into his goal mouth and Gary Cole very decently knocks the ball straight to him. But that's not good enough for Aquila. He's got to drop it again. And finally he gets it. Here's Davidson. The Dallas. The ball given away to Sully. Outside. Oh, he's just running into trouble. The little Sully. Mana, the skipper. Skipper of a very, very dispirited side. Watkin. Ratu. Sully. They're keeping possession. Are they going to make any progress? No, they're not. time the substitute still waiting as the Socceroos come again well has he given the penalty well that was inside the box the referee's pointed to the penalty spot it's Mitchell who's been brought down the referee has pointed to the spot there goes Mitchell now and poor Aquila who's been having a nightmare this last 10-15 minutes Look at him come out here like a train. Well, it's in slow motion, but you can see how Aquila goes straight for Mitchell. Made no attempt to play the ball at all. Wallop. So penalty it is. And the question is, who's going to get the chance of scoring? Gary Cole is placing the ball down. Last time I saw Gary Cole play here against Indonesia on this pitch, he missed a penalty. And he got that one. And it's 7 nothing. And Gary Cole has scored five goals. And it really is becoming a total rout for these young men from Fiji. My golly, he only just got that in. But it counts. And there's still 19 minutes as Wally Hughes looks so downcast alongside him, the national coach, Manny Nike. I wonder what thoughts are in their mind. And here comes Mitchell. these Fijians who tried so hard to keep in this game are being destroyed they have nothing to offer now all the fun that they get out of the game has been taken away from them here goes Sean and this time Inosi gets it clear a lot of time it's now becoming shooting in practice for the Socceroo players. Here goes Barnes. Davidson making a run out of the right, stops, checks, comes back, gets the pass. for help we'll get it from Byrne Davidson again touch off to Cole in again to Davidson can Sean save that yes he can 
way back to Niven Cole turns it across Sinosi knocks it out and he's knocked himself out I think he took that one on the nose it goes Davidson couldn't keep his feet though and Sammy knocks that one back this is Inossi who has probably got a little bit of cramp by golly look at the size of those boots that's about size 15 I should think Uh, as they look to find out what's happened to Inosi. That's Mali Naika, the uh, national coach of Fiji. And you can hear the uh, referee from Thailand saying if you want treatment, you've got to have it off the park. I like to see that. That is the way it should be done. Okay, thank you, man. And uh, in OC, the number 17 goes off. Fiji, of course, down to 10 men now. As uh, that ball knocked off in the direction of Niven across the box. Oh, and Gary Cole's got another one. And it's 8 nothing. And Gary Cole's got six. And Alan Niven was the boy who did it for him. Niven, who set up one of Cole's earlier goals. And this has become a bit of a farce now. Oh, look at that. Poor old Akela. He really is in bother. against 10 men of course because Inosi was off the park well I think uh, Australian fans excitement at what is happening here in Melbourne tonight should be tempered with what isn't going to happen in Auckland at the weekend on Sunday because there is no way that I can see this this Fiji side taking a result off New Zealand New Zealand with 12 points from seven matches played and uh, this is the sadness I suppose tonight that's burn that's Cole and the goalkeeper got hold of that one and the crowd give Akela a, a roar and he gives us a great big grin and shows those glorious teeth of his this is what kid caught in possession and Mitchell is there ahead of the Fiji defense or poked into Cole and now Pothos got caught in possession Davidson Davidson again looking to cross it in oh he's got to the line can he make it count no he can't Oh, we really hit that one much too long. <laughs> and that's Ratu making the challenge, stopped perfectly by Barnes. Here's Mitchell. There goes Sean. 
Ball nicked in and Cole has got another one. Oh, this is nonsensical. Well, that's Cole's seventh. And it's 9-0 the Socceroos. This one created by Sean. Big chase by Enosi. Never caught him. And that's the easiest job in the world for Gary Cole then. And Arkela must be wondering what's happening to him back there. This has got to be the biggest defeat that the Socceroos have ever dished out to any national side in a full international. The fans are well pleased with it. But as I said before, how can they expect this Fiji side to do anything for them in Auckland on Sunday? Certainly we've had another substitution for Fiji. They've taken the number 11 off, Johnny Williams, and sent on Naidu, number 15. There's still 11 minutes of this game left and the way the girls are coming up we might even get two or three more here's Davidson Cathalas well that's uh, Niven there's the crowd chanting and wanting the Socceroos to get into double figures and they might because Mitchell's there yes it's 10-0 and Mitchell's got a hat-trick. Well, it really is a total rout now. Double figures. There's Mitchell. There's a hat-trick. The goalkeeper knew nothing about it. He had every chance. Well, there's uh, David Mitchell. Came into the game without a goal in international football from two previous appearances. And now in his third full cap, he's got three full goals. And Fiji are there just to make up the numbers at the moment. Here we go again. That's shot. Oh, that was Sean. And that could have been legs 11. are just there to make up the numbers at the moment the goalkeeper knew nothing about that save and Sean should have put the rebound in for sure well, the crowd inviting Fiji to go forward and try and drag something out there's the number 15 that's uh, Naidu substitute uh, from the Ladaka club a forward a striking player I do Henderson that's a free kick to the Socceroos Anderson in to claim that ball. And now Sean on his way. Sean taking on Johnny. And this time Inosi was well positioned to save his goalkeeper further embarrassment.
again they're in there. This time it was the number six man on the skipper who'd come back. Catholic fighting to win the ball back for the soccer rules. Goes Henderson. Good try. And this goalkeeper. I often feel when I look at him that he couldn't even catch a bus. Everything comes at him and he doesn't know where he is. Henderson there. I feel in some respects that with some six minutes left, the Thailand referee could justifiably stop the game to save Fiji from further punishment as they would in a boxing match. Henderson there. Burn. That's Davidson. Dallas in field. Nosey losing. He'll be there again though. Wakir. Johnny. Inosi is in trouble. No, he's all right. He's got out of it. And little Choi. In fact, the Fijians are getting little Choi out of this game. Oh, well, one Ratu. Go on, my son. Here's Naidu. Good try. That was uh, the number eight, Nelly. was a fair old crack then from Melly. Well, let's see how, how close indeed they did come. Melly gives that some good hammer and he's bang on target with it. But Crook, well, he didn't really have to do too much to save that, did he? So the Socceroos come forward again. Five minutes to go as Henderson releases Murray Barnes down the right that's Sean on his way he's got the pace wins a corner only a lot of the fans are trailing away from the game now I think they might be unwise they might still have a couple more goals to come is uh, the Dallas. He's still there. It took two to stop him. <laughs> oh, little Sammy. Sammy, the number seven, actually played and captain Fiji, oh, what, some two, three years ago when they beat Australia 1-0. Bobbling around all over the place. Um, Catholic, Davidson, Burn, charge down, and Manan strokes that out to the number 15, Naidu. And he's still there. I think he's got to go on his own, though. Melly out to his right. Melly not really wanting that ball there. Now, well, these Fiji lads will be very grateful, I think, when. Uh, Referee Nob Nob sounds that final blast which will relieve them of having to take any more punishment. That's NOC forward. Davidson pushes in there again. Crowd calling for 11. And for Henderson. Barnes. Interesting fact that uh, Gary Cole scored seven goals tonight. 
in his previous 15 international, seven goals was his full total. So he's double that tonight. Here goes Niven. He set up a few chances for Cole tonight. It's Mitchell getting in. No, he doesn't. Oh. For Abraham Watkin. Didn't know for a moment or two whether it was Easter or Christmas. And decided that the safety ploy was to get a corner away. And Sean takes the corner. that one into Burr. Here's Nivet. And Naidu is going forward for Fiji. Now little Choi has joined in. The funs and frolics in midfield. Now it's Manan, the skipper. Salim's going to lose that, and they've been sold out here. They're going to watch the offside. They're all right. It's Cole. Barnes on a run. And Inosu takes the ball away from his goalkeeper. If he loses it now, he's in bother. That was Ratu. Back for Salim. Choi. Chip off in the direction of Sami. Troy and Sami could in fact be brothers. They're very, very alike. Well, we've got full time up. It's Manan and Henderson to the rescue. Henderson wants that ball, and he fights Davidson away to get it. The referees being a stickler for everything is. Uh, looking at his watch and finally decides that we've had the full ration and Fiji have certainly had their full ration for the night and we've got a final score line here from those two fair-haired strikers for the Saparoos final score line which says the Saparoos 10 Fiji a big zero